The bill also raises the gun buying age in Florida to 21 and institutes a mandatory three-day waiting period for all gun sales. And right now, Herald Tribune gun writer Lee Williams joins us more to talk about this issue. And Lee, you obviously know the gun community really well. What are you hearing in the wake of all of this? They are, uh, to put it politely, they are decidedly less than pleased with the governor's decision. Uh, the biggest issue for most of them is the raising the age to 21. As you very well know, being another veteran, you only have to be 18 to sign up for selective service That's and to right. serve the military. If you can have somebody bear arms in the military, you shouldn't be able to take that also right being away. Also able to vote as well. Exactly. That's the biggest bone of contention among the gun owners who have contacted me since the governor signed this. Now this whole law enforcement issue, it seems like the details are still going to be worked out. What is the, right. the local county is going to do? Uh, the, the, the genesis for this appears to have started right here in Sarasota County with Sheriff Knight's school marshal program using former uh, retired law enforcement officers and training them up with some pretty interesting um, bit of training to be able to safely negotiate a school and take care of an active shooter situation. That seems to be the have been the genesis to get this discussion started. Now I think the governor's decision will leave it up to local school boards to decide exactly how to implement that. Now you touched upon the age, now you have to be 21. Has anybody kind of given any backlash or what have you been hearing about the three-day waiting period? Well, a lot of, for a lot of people without a concealed carry permit, you know, three-day waiting period was the norm. Um, I've waited for guns before. I've had background checks before. I don't really think that's a big issue. The age thing, though, that's that's really proving contentious among the guys and, and the women who have contacted me on my social media and my website. As, as people talk about this issue, uh, you know, the gun rights, it, it seems like it's, um, going to continue to be debated even after this. Well, to me, the debate ended in 1789, but yeah, I, I suppose it will be. Sure. And Nicole, did you have anything else for, for Lee? I think we kind of covered it. All right, Lee, anything else that we didn't ask that you want to say? We'll look this for, moves forward. We will, be, we will be covering it and covering it and covering it with opinions, with interviews, and uh, this thing will be the news for, for the gun community quite for time. quite a while. The yeah. gun show loophole was discussed during all this. It didn't make it in there. Is that an issue that you Yeah, no, I've never really seen about? one. Every time I bought a firearm at a gun show, I've had to go through a background check. Okay. Most Today, most of the dealers, most of the people with the booths are dealers anyway. Right. So they're required by federal law to do a background check. Lee Williams, the gun writer, great information. Thanks Thank for you. discussing this important Thank issue you. with us. Thank you, Lee.